Hello everyone. In this session, we will see a JSF validation tag. Again, this tag is available in a core tag library. So, let's see. JSF validation tag is providing inbuilt validator to validate its UI component. This tag are weighted length of field type of input which can be custom object. And to use this JSF validation tag, we have to write XML NS colon F HTTP colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash JSF slash core. It having five different tags of it and four are inbuilt and fifth one is a custom editor. If you want to create, you can create. The first tag is F colon validate length. It will validate length of a string. F colon validate long range. It will validate range of a numerical value. Validate double range. It will validate range of a float value. And validate regular expression. Validate JSF company with a given regular expression. Let's see one by one take. The first take is F colon validate length. The tag is used to validate length of a string value in a particular range. Like F colon validate length minimum 5, maximum 8. Let's see the example of it. How you can create a JSF page? So I just right click on web pages, new and JSF page. Example number three. So you have to write H colon form tag, right? So you want to use work with the core library. So you have to write XML NS colon F http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsf slash core so now enter a string or enter data i am going to write it right. then i want one text box so i have to write h colon input text you can provide any id and this text box I am validating user input so I am using f colon your first take is with the validate length so f colon validate length having so many property but I have written maximum and minimum of it minimum is 5 maximum is 200 so if I am my uh, length of a string which is entered in textbox is just a 3 then it shows an error and you can write here one button command button input type x submit value equal to show and I want to write error message in red color so you have to write h colon ms message is a tag for for uh, in which textbooks are generating the error so textbook id is t1 so i have to write 4 equals to t1 and the style i want to display this message in a form of a red color or any other color you want to choose you can choose from here then i save this application so here enter data i put uh, this particular uh, validation minimum is 5 maximum is 200 Let's see what will be the output of it. So I'm executing example 3.xhtml. So I mentioned here a length is ABC, which is a, not a minimum in not in maximum one of it. But once I click on show, you will see this is the ID of a form tag is the ID of your text box T1. Validation error, the length is less than allowable is minimum 5. So if I D here, 1, 2, 3, 4, then shows no any kind of error. Because it is in within the range, 5 to 200 length of a string. The second take is a validate long range. This take is used to validate long value in a particular range. So long value must be of the type of integer one. So let's see the what will be the output of suppose I mention here 
another tag f colon so i'm removing this tag i'm removing this tag i mentioned here f colon validate long range minimum 5 maximum 100 once I'm executing this application again and I return some text, you will see the value is not the correct type because I enter here one string of the alphabetics. It was only validate a long range of the type digits. So if I mention here 1056, again shows the error because specify attribute is not between the expected value is 5 and 100. So if I mention here 90, it is in between, so they are not showing any error of it. So in this manner, you can work with the validate long range. Another tag, validate double range, they focus on the range of a float values. So how it will work? So if I am mentioning here, F colon, validate double range, minimum is 100.50 and maximum is 200.50 see what happened on it so suppose I mention here 99 click on show then it shows error is validation error specified attributes not between expected value is this but if I mention here 101.65 then shows not showing an error because within the range will be there so 100.052 and 200.50 this show is it used for the f colon where a double range of it next if you want to work with a regular expression looks like this this take is used to validate a string value to require format suppose the format is this kindly understand this format what is the usefulness of this format Here star A to Z. So multiple alphabetic is allowed. Dot 6 is the maximum. Minimum character requires 6. Maximum can be anything. So how the input will be useful. So once I refresh my page. I return here just ABC. And ABC is not available. Because here regular expression shows that. The data in between any alphabets. But maximum 6 characters. Minimum 6 characters is required. And return here is only 3. Then I click on show, then see regular expression pattern of this is not match. If I mention here 1, 2, again it is not match. If I mention 1, 2, 3, 6 is minimum required, then there is no any error. So the token can be anything, but minimum length will be a 6. So you can validate your text box data by using this validation tag, validate regular expression also. Okay. So in this manner you can work with all the four tag of it within the text boxes values to evaluate it the fifth one is a custom editor if you want to create a custom editor according to your test then you have to create a editor class which implementing this interface it implement validate method you have to write logic on it and you have to write a annotation to identify the unique custom editor that are the steps you need to do you have to create a validator class implement this interface is the logic in validated methods and you have to annotation on it in this manner you can use a custom validator okay so let's see one example of it for the validation i already created one example you will see it's a page demonstrate the use of simple of jsf tag i use here h colon form tag center tag so all the component will be placed in center one enter name i'm creating one text box which having a name id what is the validation for it name must be minimum five length or six character length and i'm using here enter mobile number maximum length is 10 if it is not 10 then the custom messages please enter 10 digits we have to validate length in 10 10 minimum and at maximum then if you want to create any radio button the tag will be h colon select one radio f colon select item one label is male or female 
then if you want text area for the address the tag will be x colon input text area i am using here row 5 so this much number of space will be available for the address of it you can increase the row here enter password the h colon input secret and one button i am giving here command button so once i execute this particular example which is already i created and run it see carefully where i put validations i put validation 2 1 in a, this particular text box the length must be 5 to 8 and the mobile number must be 10 10 so see this is my gui of it so if i entering here only abc then you will see this is a tag for the form tag id because component tree is created for every component so the root component is a id th name is id for the first text box is a validation error length is less than allowable is maximum 5 so i have to write here any one uh, like uh, a b c d e f it is allowed right so uh, once i write in a mobile number uh, like this winner the required is what please enter 10 digits so once i enter 10 digits the error is not shown okay so you can click here male female or you can there is a simple gui of it we have to bind every record with the backing bean of it so in this manner you can work with the jsf validation tag thank you